Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today I'll be showing you my top 10 favourite coins in my collection. So today I'll be starting with number 10 and then going all the way down to number 1 which will be my favourite. The 10th coin is a 18787 Jubilee shilling. This is my 10th favourite coin as you can see all the details needed and it is in overall amazing condition. For my ninth coin, we have a classic, a 1566 shilling again from the well-known, not personally because she's dead, Queen Elizabeth I. You can just about see the Tudor Rose. This was my first ever hammered coin, fun fact. Great condition and great memories. My eighth favourite coin gonna have to zoom out for this one it is war and peace so it's commemorating the end of the second world war as we can see the end of the second world war 1945 to 19 to 2020 i'll quickly get it out of the box and then it just has a little bit about information of the war and some bits and bobs I like this coin a lot because it's commemorating the end of the war and the peace of the end of the war rather than all the death and the fighting and it is a lovely good design. My seventh favourite coin is a Charles the First shilling. This is in great condition. You remember you may remember me buying the coin uh, at New Salisbury because I did it's in great condition and here we can see it's a shilling due to the X and the II and we can just see the outline of Charles the first my sixth favorite coin is a gold coin it is one of the world's most famous gold coins therefore it must be a sovereign here we have a sovereign from 18 sorry from 1908 it is in impeccable condition oh bit steamy and here we have Edward the seventh very shiny almost new to see and great condition my first gold coin that I bought my fifth favorite coin is the bloody Mary coin that I have it has been holed as we can all see through a hole but it is in great condition for the age and i like it because it has so much history which is one of the reasons it is in number five it could be a bit higher up if the condition was a bit better but i am more than happy with this condition now my fourth favorite coin we have another five pound coin actually. Here we have, have a Remembrance Day 2016 Alderney five pound coin. Now this is a proof coin, it is silver. Here we've got a bit of information about Remembrance uh, and designer. And then a bit of information about the coin. So it's 925 sterling silver and it is a five pound coin. And this is my only coloured coin, so we can see a bit of colour on the coin. And it says, their name liveth for every more. This is another Remembrance coin. And it is in great condition. It is an ordinary coin, but for the condition and for what the coin symbolises and means, it is great coin and definitely the number four position for the podium our third coin is a 1606 sixpence from who well it must be the one the only james the first great condition great value it is a little bit bent as you can see in the capsule but for the age from 1606 and it's 2024, that's a lot of years. So 
for this condition it is amazing. Four hundred and eighteen years I'm holding in my hand right there. For the penultimate coin, number two, the silver medalist, it is obviously a silver coin. It is this John, King John the First. It's a little bit bent. It is a half penny, as it is half of a penny. We can see that it is it is a short cross penny due to the cross going halfway to the coin just there, not all the way. And it is being cut to make it a half penny, which is what they used to do. Here we have half of John's face, his portrait. And this is my second favorite coin due to it being very old and the history behind it. Now for my first coin, my favourite coin, the gold medalist, we have another silver coin. We have the 1706 threepence. This is my favourite coin and I think it will be holding that position for a long time. It is in great condition. You can see the lips of Queen Anne right there. This lady united the countries, made the UK. It's an amazing condition coin. The toning is perfect, it pops, brings out all the detail of the coin, and it is amazing condition. Thank you very much. Please do comment down below which is your favourite out of my favourite 10 coins. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time on Bits and Bobs.